I figured out these things called the pillars, and they're the necessity and the foundation for building an empire. And this is what I want for each and every single one of you. Okay, so you want an empire mindset. Yeah, you definitely want to take pictures of this. This is the successful formula. This is the whole reason that I'm here talking to you today about all of this. Okay, it goes empire mindset, dynamic relationships, master your money, and lifestyle that design your life. Okay? So empire mindset, what is that? That is about thinking big and taking actions. You know, thinking big, like big, like eight billion people big, like having eight billion people winning from your products and services, that's big, big. It's, it's saying, I want to a great relationship and there is a man out there who can elevate me and collaborate with me and help me reach a heightened level of success mindset, empire mindset. It's, it's saying it's okay for me to need a man because he will always have my back, always, <laughs> and has. In night, we've been together 20 years. In 20 years, he has never let me down. Never. I mean, we fight from time to time, but he is never under-delivered, not committed, not followed through with his word. I mean, in my wildest dreams, I never could have imagined a man could be as good as Grant Cardone. I'm just, but it doesn't leave the room. Don't let it leave the room. <laughs> uh, and it's okay for him to need me because I am strong enough to support him through thick and thin to help him achieve his goals and his dreams. That's empire mindset. It's I want to be wealthy and money is a tool to make it make me more able to be more charitable, to have a bigger reach, to meet more people, to join forces, money is no longer an evil force in my universe. It's, it's still uncomfortable for me. It's, uh, honestly, it's very uncomfortable for me to, to even utter the words like, you know, I, I, can't even, I can't even explain what it does to my in, innards when I hear myself even say like the billionaire word. It's very, I want you to understand, it's very uncomfortable for me. I'm still working on that. Like I'm, I'm still working with my own mindset. But the thing about this is that this is how this, this, this chart works. It goes, you get a little bit of thinking, right, on your empire mindset, right? And then you go to your relationships, and then your relationships get a little bit better, and you figure things out, right? And, and, and you're, now you're growing, and, you, and you're cleaning, you know, yourself and your relationships up, and then you get a little bit better with your money, and now you're like, oh, I understand money. I'm not, I'm not stuck on money. I've, you know, now I, I, I learned the three things, the only three things that you need to know about money. You get a little bit more knowledge. Now you're like, oh, Oh, wow, now I'm thinking about pillars. I never thought about pillars before. You get a little more data, right? So you, now you're, you have a little bit more money. Now you get to go design your life. Well, is, that, is, there, is, is there schools I want to take the kids, enlist the kids in? Is there a vacation I want to take? Do I want to be able to afford to invest in staff or employees to expand the business, whereas before you might be under that scarcity mindset? So you go through it one time, and then you filter through. It's not like you get it once and you stop. It's okay, so now you've designed your life, right? Now you got to go back through and get your mind even a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Oh, wow, now I know this, that. And then you go back to the relationships and the relationships are like, oh, I see more now. I see that red flag. That person's got to go. You know, boom, 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 boom. Pull this in. Who do I need? How do I connect? Now you're thinking. You're like, oh, yeah, this is where I want to go. Now I have clear targets, aims. I'm not just wandus, wanderously aiming around life. Like, now I understand how to 
supply structure. Wow. Okay, so then you're like, money, money, money. You know, people have your money. Grant says it all the time. And now you've worked your relationships and you know people and people have your money, right? So now all you have to do is like communicate and get in front of more people and exchange your products and services because you feel so good. And like you, it, it would actually be a transgression against yourself if you're not talking or delivering your products and services to them, right? And so you're like, hee, hee, hee. And then you go back and design your life and you get to have a little bit more and there's more rewards and then you filter through again. Well, I'm also on the filter again too, just so you know. Dynamic relationships. What do dynamic relationships look like? Now, dynamic relationships look like on the same page working with each other, not fighting against each other, not tearing down. You're, you're either creating or destroying an empire with every decision that you make. Are you building or are you destroying? Building or are you destroying? So they look like relationships, dynamic relationships in my life now look like every single person that's close to me in inner circle has the core values. Like, they have to have the core values because I worked really hard and we made a lot of sacrifices to build and to have this thing that is so beautiful now. Like, I am not letting somebody into the empire who's gonna, you know, piss on the streets. Like, would you allow somebody to come in and stink up your beautiful place? No, I'm not, you're not, I'm not doing it. Like, you're not entitled into my empire just because. Like, no, you, you contribute. Like, you got core values and, and, and we can mutually, you know, vibe off of each other with the agenda. Every single person in our world is contributing to one cause to reach heightened levels of success, to help mankind, that's it. If you're not on that train, if you're not interested in empowering women, if you're not interested in financial freedom for everyone, if you're not interested in protecting children, if you hate family dynamics, you ain't coming in. You ain't coming in. They're filled with love. They're filled with fun. Yes, we go at it, it's blood, sweat, and tears, but everyone's got their, you know, Showing off my tan again. Everybody's got their, I was like, I needed an opportunity to show it. Um, they're rolling up their sleeves. They're getting the job done. They've got integrity. They've got grit. They've got fight. They've got purpose. They've got mission. Everyone's fortified, you know. Come try to talk to me negatively about anybody on my team, whether they made a mistake or not, and watch what happens you will get sliced. Nobody comes to me and tries to kill off one of my people. You're not destroying my empire. You got to go. Like, hell no, we protect our own, okay? That's what dynamic relationships look like. <laughs> dynamic relationships look like the people on your team, even if you're like, why the hell did you do that? I told you this and it was supposed to be that. And the next minute, Somebody goes to talk to them and says, oh, you know, oh, Elena's hard on you. And you know what? They say, stop right there. They refuse to hear ill will of you. That's a friend. That's a dynamic relationship. They're harmonized, energized. It's filled with laughter. And you know, it's helping each other achieve their goals and their dreams. That, to me, is the greatest act of love you can give another human being. It's not to hold their hands at movie time and show them how much you love them, although that is very nice, and that is all part of creating in relationships, and you do need to keep that in, gentlemen. But that is not really the definition of true love for me. My love is can you and will you help and support me to reach my goals and my dreams? Because if I'm achieving my goals and my dreams, I have your back, I love you, I feel good about myself, I, I haven't quit, and anyone who stands and helps me do that, that is the greatest act of love you can do for me and what I can do for you.